We have 600 million of those in Africa who do not have access to electricity or other forms of energy. In the 21st century, particularly in Africa, we are trying to win the energy transition using 20th century infrastructure. In the $3.4 trillion investment gap to finance the climate challenge, I think we have more than $100 billion that is needed to fund the infrastructure gap just in Africa. And how do you do that? Is by making sure that for the international financial institutions, the pool of funds that are available change the way they actually approach those investment opportunities in Global South. It's also our role as political leaders to ensure that we are closing the gap the sort of concerns that we are seeing in the financial community and also in the insurance community is that some developers and some financiers have difficulties taking the climate risk when financing long-term PPAs for those renewable projects that are meant actually to be a mitigation solution for the climate risk. It's very important for everyone to ensure that we are financing projects in an inclusive way without excluding any technology, any fuel that is important for the future. I think it's important to continue to fund the transition with all the fuels and technologies that are available and make sure that the transition projects, including renewables, are accelerated. So we are now in that mode where we have to ensure that the bureaucracy and land permitting issues, all these things are being cleared for investors to scale up and accelerate renewable projects. We really need to ensure in the 21st century that the carbon markets that we are putting in place, be it regulated carbon mechanisms or non-regulated carbon mechanisms, are there to help us to win this transition. The leapfrogging opportunity is always there indeed, and it boils down to whether you continue funding the traditional sort of technologies and forms of infrastructure that goes with it, or you leapfrog to new forms of technologies being in the battery area or hydrogen and ammonia, and especially, I think what the key for the leapfrogging issue would be whether the battery and storage technologies will evolve fast enough and costs will come down very fast to enable access. And I think it's important to ensure that our grids are also scalable and scaled up. If we all want to electrify and modernize our economies, I'm very optimistic that today, with the global connections that we have, we will be able to get our acts together and close the gap.